So how can you expect the money to be flowing if you say, hell no? Oftentimes, you're so angry, we are so angry with money that we don't even realize. Here's what I mean. How many times, or I'm like, okay, let me rephrase. Did it ever happen to you when some life stuff happened where you had to spend a pretty good amount of money that was unexpected and where you felt a little bit frustrated or even angry or mad? Happened? Mm -hmm. So let me break things down for you for a second. Let's say something happens. You have to spend a good chunk of your money on unexpected thing that creates frustration, anger, madness, whatever the emotion is. And you need to spend this money. And if you take a step back, you'll feel that you're angry with money, actually. You need to spend the money for the situation that frustrates you. Therefore, the anger is, in a way, geared towards the actual money. Are you with me? Yeah. Is everyone understanding this? Right, but the anger is geared towards the right. action of spending. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, I gotta put this down. Right, but if you do that... If yeah. You totaled your car. You need a car. Yeah. yeah. No so technically, car. we're actually also angry, not with the circumstance, but also with money. Now let me ask you: If you're angry with someone, your friend, family member, whatever, do you really want to talk to that person? If you're angry with them, if you're mad at them, no, you run away. So how can you expect the money to be flowing if you say, "Hell no." If you're saying, I don't, I want nothing to do with you. I need to spend now and I don't want to spend. And we all know money is energy and it's an exchange, right? But if we blocking, if we're putting the wall against the money, how can it come? It's nuance, right? But it's very important nuance.